So uh, <clears throat> I'm going to title this video the uh, the balance of life. I think that'd be a good title for this video because every day, every day, every day you, you got to plow forward, and every day you got to do what's best for you and your family. And uh, you know, in my case, you know, I'm preparing for a 8,000 mile journey, or even more could be 10,000 miles for all I know. Uh, all I know is I'm going to be living out of a car for a few months, uh, <clears throat> experiencing what it's like to be homeless. Um, luckily, I'm not homeless, thank God, and uh, my hat cries for my my heart cries for all the people that are homeless right now. Uh, so you know that's but that's the thing you know if if, if you're privileged or if you have uh, the wherewithal to exist in a house, I highly encourage you to do what I'm doing, you know, get out there and experience what it is to, to be on the road, to be without a house, to be a vagabond, you know, it's, uh, I think it's important, but let's just talk about things here real quick. So we're going to get back to the journey. Uh, so let's just flip the flip the phone around here so as you can see I've uh, I've waxed the windows we talked about this in a previous video uh, how important this is to because uh, well number one the, the, the bug strikes the uh, the pine sap because uh, we're gonna be in the forest uh, quite a bit on this trip and uh, this car is it, it's gonna get filthy it's gonna get filthy and uh, I got to make sure it's uh, it's it's weaponed up uh, as best I can. Um, let's get get back to that. So I gotta get this wax off the windows, and and why do I call this the balance to life? Okay, we'll we'll get to that in just a minute. Let's let's talk about what we're doing. So I've already put, of course, this. This is what I use to wax the windows. So we're we're done with that. Okay. Then after I wax the windows, I'll put this glass cleaner. Now when they put, I tend. Another thing that I did was I tented these windows, uh, and that's going to give me some UV protection on a hot day, so that if I'm sleeping in the back of this car, which I will be quite a bit, um, <clears throat> and uh, that'll give me some protection from the, the sun where it'll just get this car up to unbearable temperatures, but uh, this time of the year we're getting up into October, so I'm not too worried about that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to lather up the tires. With this right here, the McGuire's Hot Shine Tire Spray. Uh, <clears throat> now you, you'll see YouTube videos that they talk about that can make the tires kind of slick. Uh, so be careful when you're driving. I've never had a problem with it because uh, I use it all the time, you know. Um, because basically, you know what what you want is you don't want, you know, it, it, especially in my case because I'm an old fart, you know. Uh, sometimes this car will sit for for days at a time, especially even on the trip. You know, I might just be hold up camping somewhere for a week or two and uh those tires will dry rot they will dry rot you know especially when you're out in the forest with the nasty weather um so i i always put lather them up real good with this stuff i i hit not just the the side walls i hit the actual tops of the tires now that could possibly make them slick um up to you you know you do what you want i've never had a problem with it um you know, I've already talked about the 303 protectant. Uh, we'll be uh, lathering everything up with that. Uh, now, what's the next step for the uh, for the car here? Is uh, you know, like I said, they don't sell it anymore. But uh, once we're done uh, waxing these windows, which will be done here shortly, got a microfiber cloth. I'll be wiping these off. Okay, uh, we're gonna hit the um, we're gonna lather the car up with this paint protect. Now. You know, I guess I didn't. I didn't really say it. Okay, when I wax the windows, you know, it's a two-day process. You know, I spray it on one day and I let it harden up really, really good, and then wipe it off like the next day. You know, maybe just one day. Okay, same with this paint protect. Okay, I am gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna soak the whole car in this stuff. All right, and uh, and I'm just, I just let it sit and I let it soak in for a whole day uh, before I kind of wipe it off, and uh, that'll. That'll really, uh, really protect this area from pine sap, um, bugs. 
I mean, you name it, uh, you got to keep the paint job because it's a new car, man. I don't want to, I mean, I am going to trash the car for sure. <laughs> but, but I mean, there's trash in the car and then there's permanently trash in the car. Okay. Cause I can always come back home at some point in the next two or three months and wash the car and hopefully it'll look like brand new again because of all the, the things that I'm doing. So let's get to, uh, let's get to the tent. Cause I didn't talk about this yesterday. All right. So this is, this is the two, two person Bibbler tent that I bought uh, 22 years ago. And this is why I tell you about tent camping. It's, uh, you know, think about it. 22 years I've had this tent. Now, the last time I went camping, it leaked. And it leaked big time, and I was wet, and I had to sleep sitting up in the car. Uh, but I had bad weather. And I've already told you how I'm going to conduct the trip this time. I'm, you know, I'm going to make sure I got good weather, you know. Um, but, you know, I'm I want to be prepared because even a 20% chance, a 30% chance of rain, you might get a storm during the night. You don't want to get wet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this tent up right over here in my yard. All right. And then if you, if you go to Amazon, you can find these or you used to be able to find them. I don't know the way the supply chain is going these days. But I bought these little paint brushes. Okay. And they're perfect. And why did I get so many? Uh, because, well, they were cheap. <laughs> it didn't cost me anything. And and what I've learned is, you know, after you seam seal a tent, most of the time, you know, these brushes, you just end up throwing them away, you know, because they're just the, uh, and here's the, here's what, it, uh, what I bought. Okay, we got the seam grip uh, waterproof sealer, and I'm pretty sure I know where that tent leaked, and we're going to, we're going to throw that onto the tent and get it, uh, get it weaponed up uh, real good uh, for the trip. So, uh, so you can kind of see, you know, it's, it, and, and that's what I'm saying is life is a progression. So, <clears throat> all right, let's, let's just walk for just a second. You know, I'll just, I'll just kind of go around the yard here. <clears throat> Might as well show you a little bit of my, my area here, my house. Uh, what the hell? I don't care if you see it. Uh, but, uh, you know, so let's look at yesterday. Yesterday, <clears throat> we, uh, we just made a quick video and talked about, you know, the things that you might want to do to a car. Um, but then there's, you know, uh, you got to worry about your health, right? So you, you want to eat good, okay? You want to get your exercise. Uh, and life life is a balance, right? So I played golf yesterday. Now, had I played golf in about a month and a half? No. And was 18 holes too much? Yeah. <laughs> hey, I shot bogey golf, by the way. That's damn good for me. Especially these days when I'm 58 years old. But, uh... But you know, what I'm saying is I'm balancing my life, okay? I go out, I have a little bit of fun. Whether it be pickleball or swimming or uh, uh, jogging or whatever it is you wanna do. You know, for me, it's mostly hiking, right? Uh, so you gotta go out, you gotta have a little bit of fun and you gotta get your exercise and you gotta work on the house. So let's just take the house for example, okay? I got this rock that goes all the way around my house that the previous homeowner put in. All right, it's real important for me before I leave the house for two months that I get all of it because I've got, see these trees right here? They're a blessing and a nightmare, okay? It rains those leaves down on top of my house, on top of my rock. And uh, if I don't blow the leaves out of that rock, uh, so, you know, the other day I spent uh, all day, eight hours, eight hours out here blowing, blowing leaves out of that rock to clean it because I had to clean it as best I could because otherwise I just get weeds galore and, and you have to pull them up. You know, here's another thing that you might want to know about rock here in Florida is, uh, you know, trying to save these bushes. You know, the previous homeowner planted these and, uh, well, I planted this one right here. And uh, you got to get that rock away from them because what happens is during the summertime, it gets so hot that that rock will actually burn the plant. And uh, so, you know, I had to pull that rock away and put mulch around it out there in the heat. and. Uh, well, you can see right here, look at this plant. I mean, this thing was thriving and uh, I put mulch around it, but it's not doing too good. And, uh, and, and by the way, this is, this is what you're gonna want, man. You want the uh, uh, eucalyptus mulch because see this, uh, this actually uh, repels bugs. Uh, and I can only find this at Lowe's uh, here in central Florida out on 200 uh, for why I don't know. Now you can see I've got quite the jungle growing here in the back of the house. I gotta trim that back at some point. I probably won't do it before the trip. Um, but see, that's what I'm kind of getting to, all right? Life is a balance. So one day I work on the house. One day I get my exercise. One day 
I work on the car. One day I work on the on the trip, or you know, or a combination thereof. You know, and this is uh, I might as well show you my garden real quick. Uh, we got the. This is another thing, you know. So I'm preparing for for the worst. This is a rain barrel that I put in the back. I've got 30, 50 gallons of water right there. Anytime I need it, uh, I can just pump it out with my water filter. Uh, and also when, when, when it's dry, and we've actually been dry here for about three or four days, I might actually get out and get some camping in, you know, who knows? I mean, not camping, hiking. Uh, but this is the garden, you know, this is some cabbage that I got growing, you know, it's a, is it a beautiful garden? No, I, I'm hardly ever back here working on this. This was my cherry tomato plants and, uh, they're done for, and I got to pull those up probably before I go on the trip. So anyway, I guess, uh, I guess that's it, you know, just a quick talking video and uh well you can see i planted this right here you know and uh it's gonna get too big and probably have to rip it out at some point my sprinklers are right underneath it so that was a dumb idea you know and not everything we do in life is smart <laughs> especially me you know i'm a old fool uh so all right so i just wanted to make a quick uh, talking video um you know, and, and you know what? Here's here's another little thing that I that I've done. You know, so I went around and I changed all the outdoor boxes. These were all metal and rusting out and everything. You know, and uh, so I took them off and I put the new one on and caulked around it. You know, to to make it look nice. And of course, I knew I put a new plug in there. If you don't have any electrical ability, you know, you wouldn't be able to do that. Um, all these sprinklers I replaced. You know, so they're. They're all uh, in good shape. Uh, I put that hose reel together. You know, this is something, you, here's a little project for you, you know. All I did was I, I bought this wood and it comes out underneath the rock here, okay. And uh, and you can buy this, we used to be able to buy it. I don't know if you can still get this hose reel, but it's perfect. I mean, you know, it's really nice for, for wrapping up that hose. And that's a nice long hose so that I can get everywhere in my yard. And, uh, and then I had this uh, faucet replaced, you know. So you can see, I'm not just weaponing up the car. I weapon up the house. I weapon up my body. You know, it's it, that's why I say, folks, life is a balance. Every day, plow forward. You know, one day the car. Uh, and what am what am I doing today? I'm going to spend some time on the car. I got to get that wax off the windows before I can drive it, of course. You know, uh, but am I going to spend the whole day on it? No. No, I got to get my exercise, man. I played golf yesterday. I don't consider golf exercise. You know, you're riding around in a cart and, uh, you know, <laughs> what's the big deal? You know, you, and you hit a ball around the golf course, you know, and, and is it fun? Yeah, I enjoyed it. I, I had a, actually had a good time, but uh, I need to go get some, get a hike in and I'm going to get some exercise and I won't be making a video for that. That's just me going to... Um, and you've been there with me uh, on previous videos. We're going to go to Baseline Park and just, and I take a, a dumbbell with me and uh, I just sit there and I lift, you know, I do curls with it and I do work on my shoulder and everything. And, uh, and that's my day to day. That's it. You know, so we, you can see we're, we're knocking things out. I might get that 10 up later today. Uh, may or may not. All right. Let's get the mantra. Freedom. Good to be in a Republican state with the great Governor DeSantis. Woohoo!